Hi. So I was with my um, uh, a group that I'm bringing through this uh, on this um, Discover Food Freedom course this morning. And a lot of the discussion was around relapse and how to um, deal with things if you fall off the wagon or fall off your food plan. And um, I just wanted to share a little bit about that with you because it's such a common thing. Um, and really the way to see freedom from food is a journey. Um, and, and it's a journey to becoming very conscious about what triggers us into overeating and what triggers a binge. And sometimes um, we're only, we can only learn by going there a few times and to become more conscious of what it is that triggered us. It's only by experience and pain, unfortunately, that usually we understand what we're suffering from or what we're dealing with. So what I suggest to people is if they do, if they can't stick to their plan or if they find that they're just really defiant or or the, well, the over urging um, or the overwhelming urge, sorry, to eat takes over them, then I suggest they just try to accept they're doing their best today and that's the best that they could do today. Because any more, the last thing we need is any more self-criticism or um, self-hatred or self-disgust or anything like that. And really the fastest way out of that is to accept we are what we are today. We're doing our very best. This is the best I can do today. And none of us want to be overeating in the way that we do. Um, so it's not a cop out and just saying, well, eat whatever you want, because I don't think anyone wants to. People want to eat well. People want to have a you know, to feel good. They want to be at a good weight. It's not a question of not wanting it. It's not being able to do it. And we can't manifest a willingness to be there if it's not there. So um, all those times that we fall off the wagon or relapse can be used to learn more about what we're dealing with, learn about what works and what doesn't work, learn what triggers us and what doesn't trigger us, and learn what brings us peace and doesn't bring us peace and learn what behaviors trigger um you know falling into more unconscious patterns behavior patterns so even though it may be painful and you may not want to accept where you are right now if 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 that is relapsing that is the fastest way out of it just accepting that you're doing your best with a huge amount of compassion for yourself and just try to remain aware of you know what preceded the relapse was it were you tired did you get over hungry were you angry um were you lonely what was going on for you and try to become aware of that and in future then when you're tired you can go okay i need a rest now i don't need food when you're hungry if you get too hungry you can go okay i left it to go too far between between meals i need to be more regular about my meal times was i lonely well what am i doing to push away people um was I angry? Okay, why was I angry? What thinking was making me angry? Um, it's never other people's fault. It's how we respond to other people that makes us angry. Um, so those are the things to watch out for. And this is a journey of just growing in awareness day by day. So that's how I suggest to people they deal with relapses. Take care. Bye now.